Hi, welcome to another Chody Giant Veg. Um, I'm sorry it might be a bit rattly this morning. Um, the wind's blowing a bit of a hoodie outside, so it's rattling the windows on my greenhouse. It's just a fortnightly look at what's going on. Um, how things have progressed over the last fortnight. Things are starting to fly on now. We've had some nice weather, but unfortunately it's uh, pitling it down today. Um, which is a good thing in a way because my potatoes need some water and all the other stuff down at the plot needs water as well so it's a good thing just do with some sunshine after the rain sort of thing uh, I'll show you around me my dressed onions they're all starting to pick up um, um, just looking across them now I need to take quite a few fruits off there's a lot of um, yellow fruits on them but they're all really taken off now I need to water them I've been away for four days so they'll be due a, due a sprinkle of water where yeah, they'll be happy with that I might put a little bit of feed in for them as well I'll show you my carrots I've got my other little shack there and uh, my garlic and stuff like that um, I'll start over here first I'll show you my um, this is uh, my little cucumber I've got going on I'll pop that up soon. Um, it's starting to take off as well. Put on leaves. In here I've got um, a giant tomato, which seems to have set away all right. It had a bit of problem to start with. I didn't ha I didn't think it had a top on it. I thought it was growing out of one, uh, like a leaf stem sort of thing. So yeah, it's pulled itself round and it's grown up right now and it's uh, starting to look a lot better. That's often a McCoy seed. So I'm going to get that pot potted on. Um, I'm thinking of putting that into an air pot. Um, I've got a couple of little chilies here. This one and this one. They're the hot super chili pepper. Um, I've just pricked them out and put them in. So hopefully they'll uh, start growing soon. Or the weather starts getting a bit nicer. Avocado again is starting to take off. That's putting on leaves every, every week now. So that avocado is doing all right which i'm happy with look at these tomatoes i mean they were tiny a couple of weeks ago um but they're, they're lush and green now they look spot on that's a cherry tomato i've got two cherries two cherries here and at the back is a money maker just taking the tip off there um these two um, are taken off now. They, these are Shirley. Um, apparently they give cracking um, trusses of tomatoes. I didn't grow them last year. So I'm going to grow them this year. And I'm going to uh, put them into bigger pots as well. And try and get a nice yield out of them. This is a courgette. All green bush. Courgette. I've put these two in. I've kept it on the, uh, the bench for the minute. Just to keep it up a bit where it's a bit warmer. Because I've noticed some coloration on the, the leaves when I put it uh, on the ground, put it stark growing. So I've uh, lifted it up and put it on here. Because I thought it might have been still a bit cold on the ground. And I've put these two in earlier on, these two canes. So I don't damage the roots later on uh, by sticking a big cane through. I'll show you... Um, my other giant tomato in here, which was the same stamp as that McCoy one I've just showed you two weeks ago, but it's been potted on and put into a bigger, like, um, as you can see, a bit of a lovely green gorilla tub sort of thing. And it's just branched out. It's got a few dead leaves in the bottom, which will need snipping off. Um, but yeah, it's thick and bushy, nice and green, um, which is right i suppose it looks nice i'll um show you now show you me giant onion down there that's a big onion it's basically at the minute i would say at the bottom of the bulb it's about the width of a coke can um as is the other giant which is that one there but obviously the other one's got a thinner neck as you can see but yes that one's looking mighty good i'm happy with that and as you can see oh, i don't know if you can see it there the french beans are starting to go and it's 
sending up its runner. I'll put a runner and um, a cane up so it can grow up the cane and then it'll attach onto these. Hopefully they'll all end up all the way up there. And I've trained them all the way up past me no WD-40 sign. <laughs> um, and across the, the top of the greenhouse where they'll just hang down off these. They'll hang down you'll just be able to pick them off. Um, it's just about utilisation of space really. Because uh, I know that space is a big factor on a lot of people's uh, back gardens and plots and stuff like that. I'm no different. Um, I'll try and use as much space as I can. I'll show you my dressed onions. I'm, I'm hoping that none of them took up seed heads because they're looking absolutely cracking now. I'll admit that. Um, to me, they are anyway. For me, I'm not. I'm not any champion grower. Don't. Don't uh, be fooled into thinking that I'm a decent grower. I'm just purely amateur. Like I keep saying, this is my first year growing properly. Um, so to me, these are perfect for me. Um, I'm over the moon with them. I need to do a little bit tidying up on them and stuff like that because they look a bit raggy. But that's what happens with onions. The the old skins die, they stay on, and they look a bit minging. But when you strip them off at the end, but uh, dry them out and dress them. Um, they look beautiful anyway. So they're, they're starting to bulb up a bit at the minute and I'll show you. I'll show you around a few of them. So this is, I don't know, it's not far away from my giant, but this is a, one of my dressed onions. This is a, this is a Kelsey. Um, and this one has been fed on high nutrients, chem pack number two to start with. So that's what that one was fed on. So was that one. These two were a bit of a um, an experiment sort of thing, because that's what I like to do. I like to chop and change things, or you'll end up with the same things every year, same results. So, like I keep saying, if you don't test things out and try things, you'll never know any recipes for success. You might stumble across something which no one knows about, and you'll be astonished with the results you're getting. And then there's uh, these. Like so these got a nice one over there at the back down there. He's a uh, he's a big one. But yeah, hopefully I'll get three decent ones out of this lot to show. I should do. Um I've got about thirty. I've got about thirty in there, so I'll um I'll definitely get three. But like I say, I'm not a professional grower. I just want to win my show, my local show. Um I'll show you over my other little Shack. I don't know if you can see me pipes actually at the back of the, the greenhouse there. Them pipes in the tops of each one of them. My parsnips, my long parsnips. I'm hoping to guard none of them are split. I should have used a finer grade of compost. Um, I did riddle it all down anyway, but I should have used a better compost. So hopefully I'll have a nice long root veg I could put in my local show and um, challenge for that part of the section, that section because um, the same guys won it for the last 10 or 12 years I believe. So hopefully I'll challenge him this year, which should be good. The other, um, the, the other onions, the runts, what I was gonna, the rejects I was gonna get rid of, I'll put in and they're all flying on now, so it's ticking on nicely. They'll probably just be eaten. Um, the lettuce I stuck in there is cracking on. I'll probably be pulling that out soon for the scran. Elephant garlic, not looking too healthy. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. It's just not looking too healthy. It's grown, but um, it's not looking too healthy. Don't know why. Might need some feed in. Um, it was it was pre-fed before it was all planted, so it shouldn't need any yet. But you know, um, these are my show carrots. As you can see, they're absolutely flying along. They must love it in here. I don't know if I planted them out a little bit early. Um, I planted them out. I think it was the tenth of May, uh, tenth of April. Sorry. At the, I've got a couple of random parsnips I just put in there to see what happened if I grew them inside with them. Um, 
here's another one of my giant tomatoes it's uh, the same again it's getting this knobbly bobbly thing around the shaft there and it's looking a bit runtish so hopefully it pulls itself around um, it doesn't look too healthy at the bottom that's got a bit of a stalk going on horrible dried out stalk um, yeah but that's off a, a McCoy no it's not sorry that's I received that off a friend that's just a gigantic more um, this one here is a McCoy off a 5.53 pound Tommy Auto which it looks nice and healthy it's nice and green and it's bushing up um, it's not leggy at all it must be getting enough sunlight in here giving it enough lumens um, yeah I'll take you outside and show you my potatoes because they're cracking on um, which way I'm walking here I've got me there's my there's my potatoes I've got 14 gorilla tubs full um, and they're all as you can see starting to come away now they're happy I've got two more in, uh, tubs over in that little brassica tunnel there but the, um, I've only filled them half full to see if I can get an early crop half full of air comp I'm sorry to see, see if I can get an early crop out of them too these um, I've got Charlotte, um, Kestrel and another brand I've got it written down in the house inside my brassica tunnel there had a bit of a disaster um, I've got two giant cabbages supposedly in big gorilla tubs and the dog got in knocked one over and I think it snapped it I know it snapped a couple of the uh, leaves off same with the back so I'm not too happy not too happy about that as you can imagine all the work what goes into things for the little bug to run in and go berserk because there's a dog over the back um, I'll show you my sunflowers I've had to take them out of the greenhouse because they're getting um, a bit big now one's same height as me basically and the other one's about a foot shorter uh, and I've put them up against my um, soil pipe I've tied canes over the so soil pipe as support so I can um, secure them every so often as you can see to the cane stop the wind you can see the winds going out but it's to stop the wind from absolutely hammering them this one's nearly ready to be tied on the top one um, and again dog has chewed the leaves to bits I don't know why a dog would like chewing a sunflower but mine are little weirdos and they seem to like it so yeah oh sorry the, them sunflowers so I'll put another bit on the side of this video to be able to see. 